Dr. Long here. Today's audio log is for SCP-019. I have no disclaimers or puns to make about this one, so let's get right into it. SCP-019 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-019 is to be kept in a wide grate in a 3 meter by 3 meter by 4 meter reinforced concrete room, installed with an incinerator. Room is to be kept at 0 degrees Celsius when the incinerator is not activated. An observation chamber separated by a plate glass window is to be used for constant observation of SCP-019. And if slash when specimens of SCP-019-2 are observed, the incinerator is to be activated. In the event of an outbreak of SCP-019-2, ordinary firearms are successful in terminating individual specimen. Although in a case of a swarm level outbreak, flamethrowers may be more effective. SCP-019 should be kept in a vertical position at all times. Description SCP-019 appears to be a very large ceramic face, 1.8 meters in diameter at the mouth and 2.4 meters high. Style and decoration indicate it was created in classical Greece, although conclusive dating is impossible as the surface is entirely unbreakable by any known means. If a successful method is discovered to damage SCP-019, SCP-019 is to be destroyed with prejudice. Periodically, entities emerge from SCP-019. Collectively, these are known as SCP-019-2. The entities vary in many aspects, but they tend to be vaguely humanoid, though they may have anomaloid features, and extremely hostile. They often choose to attack with teeth or claws. Although fairly delicate, also surprisingly flammable, they are reasonably strong and pose a considerable threat in large numbers. When kept at 0 degrees Celsius and totally at rest, entities will emerge from SCP-019 at a rate approximately of one entity per hour. The following traits are known to affect SCP-012's manifestation rate. Movement of SCP-019 Threats to SCP-019 Extreme temperatures, highs or lows, sudden shift in surrounding environment, introduction of object or organism to the inside of SCP-019, known to cause a flood reaction. Traits that may or may not influence SCP-019-2's manifestation rate. Presence of human life near SCP-019. Current weather patterns. Specific individuals near SCP-019. Some individuals seem to affect SCP-019-2's emergence rate more drastically than others. In addition, tipping or tilting SCP-019 will create a reaction as though it was previously filled with SCP-019-2 specimen. Although viewers looking at it from above will merely observe a dark hole. Due to the production rate of SCP-019-2 when the object is disturbed, measurements of the internal cavity is difficult, but is suspected to be inconsistent with the outside measurement. Addendum Document SCP-019-2-A SCP-019-2 Notes as maintained by Dr. Light and Dr. Vox SCP-019-2 specimen was removed from the containment chamber and kept in a reinforced pan provided with water and a live chicken as food. The specimen made quite continuous garbled vocalization determined to be phonetically similar to ancient Hellenic languages. Although the reason for this is unknown, specimens are still thought to be no more intelligent than animals. The specimen lived for less than 48 hours, and the dissection revealed anatomy consistent on a cellular level with normal biology, but with an extremely unstable musculoskeletal structure. Other notable anomalies include an unstable respiratory system, nearly non-existent digestive tract, and virtually no other internal organs. All other captured specimens have followed similar patterns of behavior and demise. Note, it appears that SCP-019-2 specimens were not intended to live in for meaningful amounts of times outside of SCP-019. Dr. Vox <laughs> Containment unit was slightly damaged following prolonged exposure to SCP-019-2 specimen missed by the monitoring team because of its partial transparency. This has not been noted in SCP-019-2 before, Modern team will continue to report further anomalies. Dash, dash, Modern team reports specimens of SCP-019-2 now appear to be significantly more resistant to incineration than others. 
It is hypothesized that this is a defense mechanism on the part of SCP-019. Most specimens of SCP-019-2 are now all but entirely resistant to the effect of the incinerator. Replacement of incinerator with acid bath is being considered. Evolution of SCP-019-2 is being studied and may be evidence of sentience in SCP-019. End of audio log. That's it for today. There are no tells for this one or the next few ones, so that's a load of my shoulders. Anyway, I'll see you folks in the next one.